been awakened when you heard about Sonnetter TV. If you're conscious, why you hating? Some of us think too small, just too afraid to fall. If you're conscious and awake, you know that the studio gets deep. Black news and history in the making. Let's get up from the fall, wise up and take it all. Black Power family, as you already know, this is your brother saw another Black News 102. And guess who I bumped into on um, right right out here in Co-op City? Yeah, this is Pee Wee Kirkland. Here's the man, Pee Wee New Kirkland. New York's last dawn, last of a dying breed. And all I'm saying is, Co-op City, I've been familiar with it all my life. Got a sister living in Co-op City, Marble. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Got a best friend living. <laughs> si my son's best friend living in Co-op City. Where your son? Europe. My son is right here. Okay. Europe is best. Europe. This best friend is right there. And we work out in the gym a lot of times, but today we went to the gym and said we might as well cool it off for a minute and go somewhere else. Well, so we brother, I see you here. getting your workout in, man. Oh, yeah, you playing yeah. ball. You, I mean, can you keep up with the youngest? I can tell you this here. <laughs> the last time I played, I scored 100 points. The next game after that was the final game I played when I scored 135 points in that game. My waistline is exactly that today, 30. Waistline is 30. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, with your company, peace, God bless, and that's from the so heart. So what's going on right now, though? What you doing now, though? I know you got a movie just, getting ready to drop. It don't get bigger than the movie getting ready to Talk drop. Talk about that. Promote that. that. But, I, but I actually, last night, King of Kings. King of King Kings. I heard of that. Kings, yeah. I think I Queens. saw some of them. Yeah, King of Kings. They, they gave me an award last night. I was surprised because I went there to receive the Changemaker Award. Changemaker, which is kind of personifies what I do. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But... Man plans and God plans. And they had a different plan. And their plan was to give me a congressional certificate of honor from Congress. And along with that, they gave me three other proclamations. And I thought that was so interesting for a guy who have lived the life I live and who have turned his life around for the last 30 years impacting young people's lives all across the country to be recognized on that bigger stage in Long Island yesterday. And I really appreciate the Brothers King Kings for doing that. Now I've already received a proclamation from Congress, mm -hmm. uh, actually from Charlie Rangel. But the fact of the matter, truth of the matter is, you know, this, these three congregations were a little closer to the hood. And if you know me, then you know I'm about that hood business because I'm right. always about, you know, impact. It ain't, it ain't about the rewards. To me, it's about the impact and impacting young people's lives what God blessed me to do. And that's what I do. You know, strange thing about Pee Wee Kirkland is I come out penitentiary for making mistakes and it took me maybe three years. Now, from being in the penitentiary, having two families, I was on World News with Peter Jennings as a global inspiration on NBC. Mm -hmm. So for every young person that made a mistake, guess what, man? Felony's not a death sentence. All I'm saying to you is if I can do it, you can do it. Come on, kid, turn it around. Make it happen. Because when you understand the value of your life, it'd be a lot less easy for you to take somebody else's life. Did easy. you watch the NBA game this season? Yeah. What, what is your take on that? Do you think it was rigged? Do you think they just threw that game away with Stephen Curry? Kicking green out the game. What is what is your take on that whole talk? No, the NBA is not a rigged. You know, the NBA is probably it's the premier pinnacle of the sport today. And in and, and, and since the beginning of time, the NBA and every other franchise have gave an edge to their superior basketball players. So 
Curry, sometimes he might go to the basket, look like a foul. If he didn't get fouled, he'd get it. LeBron may go to the basket sometime, look like a foul. Even if don't foul him, he'd get it. But that's what true, that was true with Jordan, Kobe, Chamberlain, Jerry West, all the way back to the greatest of them all, which is Oscar Robertson. Who was you going with? Or you were just watching it for entertainment, you know? Well, I don't really, I know you love them all. That's right. I that's just right. I love great basketball players, and I love the effort. Because I'm an old school basketball player, and I'm that's about right. giving... 1,000% on the court, and, and from a school I come from, you never play a bad game if you left everything on the court. And I think in that game, in this playoff, once the emotions settle down, we'll realize we may have seen the best playoff game maybe in the last yes. decade. You see what I'm saying? And that's all a fan can ask for. Do you think that the, the day's NBA game, the ref called too many ticky tack little baby fouls. Because I know when you was growing up, yeah, well, we was, was playing rough ball. Let me tell you something. We was playing real ball. It was now it's like it's too much little girly stuff going on. Yeah, it was like with me, it was a school of hard knocks. It don't knock it if you can't block it, for real. Yes. And it was physical. I mean, I used to go to the bathroom with a guy dragging, dragging my arm and my shoulder, pulling me around the neck, grabbing my jersey, and the ref wouldn't call it. But that only made us learn how to play that brand of basketball. Today is today, and you know you can't change basketball no more. You can change music. The music is different. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Football is different. Everything is different. So the game is what it is, and you have to be able to adjust to what the game is today. If you touch somebody and they go in the basket, it's a foul. So therefore, what you learn is the other technique of basketball: stop touching people, start moving your feet, start being in front of in front of your man, and stop jumping in the air for nothing. Who are some of the players that you went up against like that's in the NBA? I don't want to say their names. I'll just okay. say this here. Mostly okay. all of them that's in the Hall of Fame, in the top 50, was the guys who I played against. Mm. And I don't have to tell you about the work I put in. You know, in Harlem, I bumped into a couple of days ago. I forgot his name. You I'm might not know. going to forget his name because that's my man. Who I'm talking, about? I'm, talking about, I'm talking about? The light skinned brother? I'm talking about Joe Hammond. Just there ain't you go. Nobody else you could be talking about. Yeah, you know, that's right. I in bumped the, into in Joe bottom, Hammond. In the bottom line, I mean, I just did an interview on on the live TV, show you how crazy it is in terms of how the legend of Pee Wee Kirkman and Joe Hammond is so big. I just did an interview on the live TV, and it was just one interview, and they put it out in parts, but I think they put the last part out last week, and people are still looking at it, and already, and I just did it like a month and a half or two months ago, the interview is over 850,000 views, and those are legitimate views. Why? Because you can't use the same apparatus because they can detect it. So That's it, right. every view is a That's different right. phone, a different computer. It's a different reality. So, and why would that be? I'm not on TV. I'm not a national guy. I'm a guy in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm, saying? I'm right. only the legend. I'm only what I am because I'm the people's church. I'm the people's legend. And that's, that's why right. you see a great boxer. And, and I mean, some of the greatest, say Sugar Ray Leonard. Ten years after Sugar Ray Leonard stopped boxing, you didn't hear his name nowhere. Mm -hmm. This is 50 years after Peter Kirkland picked up a basketball with Joe Hammond, who was that's the right. greatest shooter ever shot a basketball in the history of the game. I never ever saw him off. I never have no, heard nobody say, oh, Joe was off, Joe was hurt, Joe was nothing. Joe was the greatest shooter ever shot a game, under pressure, never looked for picks, and nobody's gonna change that in no league. You can't shoot his accuracy shot. I mean, one time Joe was shooting foul shots at Sundance from Harlem. You might know him was throwing them the ball. And I said, Sundance, well, how many do you make in a row? Sundance said, I don't know, because I stopped giving the ball at 100. Somebody makes some 100 foul shots in a row. But that's how proficient and how good he was. You know, so I mean, all I'm saying is, our names are like super, and that's me all across the country. Mm -hmm. Every country, I go in China, uh, Paris, my name is, might be big in England, it is New York. I mean, and, and they stress me to do, to, to uh, wanna, uh, 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 wanna advertise me through the UK. I said, you can't advertise me through the UK until it happens here in America, in New York. And when it happens in America and the movie come out, it's gonna be on the big stage and that hit, then I, then I want the benefit to come back here. Cause I'm from here. The other thing I want is, and I wouldn't be doing my life story cause they've been trying to do my life story since 1970. I wasn't gonna put that out there. Not no American Gangster. Mm -hmm. All of the movies gonna be better and probably a little deeper in terms of danger than American Gangster, but you're gonna see, you're gonna see both sides. You're gonna see that pain. You're right. gonna see that suffering. You're gonna see what young people need to see when they think the game is funny. It's not a joke, kid. It's not a joke. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying people always ask me that question. People, if you had to do all over, would you ever want the Chicago Bulls? You know, and I don't know how to answer the question. Then the reason I don't know how to answer it because if I'd have went to the NBA, everybody know I've led the NBA and scorned for sure and broke all kind of records. That's uh, that's for certain. But what I don't know is what I've been doing. To, what 
what I, I be doing today. And I don't see an NBA player that's using his life, that's committed his life. See, what I do is not a way of life. It is my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it ain't going to stop till I drop. I'm going to always be there as long as God bless me to be able to be there to impact a young person's life, a female or male, or, or maybe to console a family who just lost their kid, or, or maybe to make another kid understand that, guess what, kid? Gangs ain't for everybody. It might look like a gang, but when you're in a maximum security prison, and you're in that cell 24-7 with no visits, and they can stop your visits. Don't kid yourself and think That's they right. can't. They That's can stop right. your visits for all the length of time you're there if they want to. If they see you a threat to a judge, to a congressperson, to somebody in society, they can even see you as a threat to the people that you might have snitched on or the people that you associate with. And they can put the stop on it. So nothing is guaranteed but a good education, being a decent person in life, and for the most part, listen to your parents, man. I'm out. One love. God Peace, bless you. brother. You are definitely a living legend. I'm glad I bumped into you. It was that, destiny. I had that, to bump into a and, great man. And that was God's design. Everything yes, happened in my life is God's design. So, so you can always, you can catch it. If you type in YouTube on the search channel, just type in Black News 102 or Sarnetta TV. You know who that man is, right? Hung Youngin? There you What's go. Up, there you go. Yeah, you know who that man is. Fact, how you doing? That's fact, right, brother. Fact. Oh no, you can't forget a legend. Yeah. See that is good when the youth can come out and, and know who you are. As soon as I was getting out of my car, I'm like, yo, that's Pee Wee right there. Youth. I go in elementary school as a kid say, what? Do you know this? That's Pee Wee Kirkland. Now I can't do that. Only God can do that. That's real talk. Because those that's things showing, are God's man. You're design. A legend, man. See, you I'm moving out? We got to try to connect with that reality. All right. You get the parking spot. Thank I'm you, my here. brother. 100. Peace, man. All yes, right, sir. man.